Morning Church. Uh, I'm Tim, together with Frankie, we lead our Geneva campus uh, and we're talking about my relationships. And I just want to share a bit of a testimony with you this morning about how um, God has put the right people in the right place for us. Uh, but first I want to read from Exodus 17. In verse 11 it says, As long as Moses held up his hands, the Israelites were winning. But whenever he lowered his hands, the Amalekites were winning. When Moses' hands grew tired, they took a stone and put it under him and he sat on it. Aaron and Hur held his hands up, one on one side, one on the other, so that his hands remained steady till sunset. So Joshua overcame the Amalekite army with the sword. Uh, so as I said, I just want to share a bit of a testimony about how, how God's brought the right people uh, into uh, our lives at the right time. Um, and I think this is this this story sums it up perfectly for the israelites to defeat the amalekites in battle for god to give them a victory moses had to have his arms held in the air um and there came a point where he couldn't do this in his own strength now frank and i were in a uh not not quite the same situation uh but in our move to geneva there are a lot there was a lot of uncertainty a lot of um things that we that we we didn't know and that meant that we that we weren't able to take our dog Winston with us which is an absolute travesty it was probably it's probably been the hardest part of uh the move so far for me the, my biggest worry was what we were going to do with him but uh we knew he was going to have to stay for for a while and we didn't know we didn't know how long um the it, like the easy expensive option would have been to put him into kennels but we didn't know how long it would be for and we didn't know how much that would cost um and we really felt the lord prompt us to use the church uh to to wait on like a, a, a wait on support from the house of god from our from our friends from the relationships we we've built over the years um so we it, we were serving in sheffield in february uh, at Audacious Sheffield and Frankie got talking to a family uh, about the dog and what we would do with him because the kids were really concerned obviously and um, what started as quite a tongue-in-cheek conversation with the mum about oh yeah maybe you guys could have him uh, like as a bit of a as a bit of a joke turned into a, a conversation about how many kilometers he needed to walk what his eating schedule was what like would he buy any of the children uh and we fast forward six months and he's still there which is great they are they've been such a blessing to us um and i hope he has been a blessing to them as well uh but this was a real like answer to prayer a bit of a a strange provision if you like not your everyday miracle but one for us that was really important um and that has allowed us to not like we haven't worried at all um we we've not had to think about what what's going to happen to to the dog or like this per, this thing that depends on us we we're, we're not we're not worried about it. and it allows us to like really serve the church well in in Geneva. So um, to to us, this family have been like Aaron and her, and in holding our hands up, allowing us to do what God's called us to do in Geneva, and not having to worry about um, th this thing here. Now there have been plenty of other people in church that uh, have been able to support us over this time. Like m it's no coincidence, my brother is in the same city as me. Like. They, they've been a massive help and I just want to encourage you this morning church to build uh like build relationships lean on others and ask God to to highlight the people in church you need to um like really like make time for and like invest time into because there'll come a point where you need that support and actually God answers prayers through his people and the church is the, the greatest tool we have to to reach people and to uh, support one another. So, yeah, that's my encouragement to you this morning to look at what look at what God's called you to do and look at how your relationships can help you in that. And that requires us to be vulnerable. It requires us to trust in others. But ultimately, it allows us to see a victory at the end of it. Um, 
so yeah, yeah le lean into those around you and uh, expect a miracle when that happens.